Oh my god, my hair is not doing me justice. I'm like filming from my window right now and I have like this creepy dude just staring at me right now. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys my February favorites of the month. Um, it consists of makeup, body care, candles, perfumes, all that good jazz. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I've liked this month, then just keep on watching. So we're going to start off with my favorite candle of this month. And that is my Yankee Candles Pure Radiance uh, Candle. So it looks like this. It is in uh, the smell Crackling Peach Mango. This smells super good. Perfect for the springtime, which is coming up. And I just love the smell of fruity candles. So this is a big size. It's my first Yankee candle ever. And so far I'm really liking it. I'm loving that it has um, crackling wicks ra rather than like the regular ones, you know? It just sounds cool and it looks cool and it's awesome. So if you guys are interested in Yankee candles, definitely try this one out. Peach Mango. Okay, so moving on to Bath and Body Care. I've been absolutely loving my my puppies playing okay. around. So, I've been loving the Soaps and Glories Sugar Crush Body Buttercream. Looks like this. And, again, it is a fruity smell. It smells like lime. That makes sense. It smells like really good lime. And, I love this cream. It is very thick. So, it is very moisturizing. This is my first product ever from Soap and Glory. I will definitely be trying out the rest of their line. I got this in a kit from Sephora for like $15 and this retails I believe for $22 and this was a full size. So yeah, I tried this out and it smells so good and I'll show you what it looks like. Look, look at how thick that is and you just, you know, just put it all over your body after you like take a shower and I also got the body wash with it. It's a little travel size one. It smells freaking amazing. So, yeah, this is, it's not greasy at all, like it feels really nice and nourishing on your skin. So I've been really loving this body cream this month. Another thing from Soap and Glory I've been really liking is their body scrub. So it's called the Breakfast Scrub. And this smells like maple syrup, like breakfast. But as you can see, I've used a lot of it up really really nice it really does exfoliate your skin and it's not too harsh like it feels really gentle and yeah so I've been using this a lot too I've only used this probably like two to three times a week I've been opening my eyes to the brand called lush cosmetics I love that stuff I love their bath bombs their bubble bars like everything from that line um, so what I've been using for my bath care is this shower jelly and it is called whoosh so it's like a citrusy smell I'll show you what it looks like so it's like like straight up gelatin like jellies and what you do is what well what I do is I just basically take kind of like a, a, a quarter size amount and I put it on my loofah and I kind of put it under the water and kind of just you know scrub it together to make some foam going through and then I scrub that all over my body and I love using it in the morning when I'm like dreading going to school because it really does wake you up. Um, the smell is really nice. It lasts on your skin. And I I, re I purchased the other shower jelly that they carry. I forgot what it's called, but I do have it in the back. It smells so good. So yeah, if you want to try something different, shower jelly is the way to go. And it does have an expiration date along with like, you know, who made it. So I really like that these products are all natural and handmade. And this cost me, I believe, like $12.95 or something. And it lasted me a pretty long time. I've had this for almost two months now. So, been really liking that. Okay, so another thing from Lush is this... What is this? I think it's a cleanser. Yeah, it's a face and body cleanser. I usually... I, I personally use it for my face. And it is called Let the Good Times Roll. And it smells so good. Like, I'm into products that smell really good. And this just smells like cookie dough to me. Like, it's just really cool. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a uh, clay texture. And what you do is you just grab, like, the tiniest amount. But what I do is I take kind of, like, this size amount. 
And what you do is you put your hands under some water and then take a little bit of that water from your hand and just kind of like rub it in to the clay and it creates this paste which you're going to put all over your face. And this stuff is awesome. Like it straight up makes my face feel refreshed and it really does brighten my face. And the claims on this is that's supposed to make your skin soft and smooth, which it does and it is very gentle. And it smells like the ingredients in it is scrumptious sweet and salty popcorn. So I guess they have maize in it and it smells freaking amazing. This is expiring soon and as you can see I haven't even used that much but it's like so much product. That's the only downside I don't like about this is it's going to expire in about two weeks so I got to start using this a lot more but I've been really loving this product. Okay, so on to skincare. I've been using this um, cleanser as well and it's from Glam Glow. It's their mud masks, mud to foam mask, and I've been really liking it. Um, this is what the pump looks like. You just need like two pumps, and it comes in. It comes out black, and you just rub it all over your face and let it dry. And oh my gosh, your face is like a whole new person. This was pretty pricey. It was like thirty nine dollars, but look at the size of this. It's humongous, and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that. And I've been using that a lot, and I really really like it. Like I said, it's really gentle because I do believe I have sensitive skin, so it helps. And it also helps with my redness too, which is really weird. But I really like that product, and I can't wait to try out more um, things from Glam Glow. I'm just kind of slowly building my way up to trying a bunch of skincare because I don't really do that much with my skin. Oh, this is my baby, Bubba. Hi, Coda. Say hello, Bubba. Say hello, Mama. <laughs> Yes, yeah, my my babies right here. Say hello. So my favorite nail polish this month is from the brand Essie. Looks like this. It's in the shade Bikini Sotini. Girl, I wish. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's like this periwinkle shade. It's super duper pretty and perfect for any skin tones. I am so excited for the whole pastel colors for spring. So I'm kind of getting the head start on that. So I really like that nail polish. Love the formula. Um, it dries pretty quickly and so I don't get like those like little random bumps when you're like thinking that it's all dry and all of a sudden it gets all smushed up. So that's a really good nail polish. My favorite perfumes of this month is my Juicy Couture perfume. Freaking love this. <sighs> Very... I would say it's like a sexy scent. So I don't really wear this often. I only wear it like on special occasions. But I really like the smell of this and the bottle is just super cute. So once it's all done, I'm definitely keeping the bottle just for, you know, decoration. But yeah, my go-to. And another perfume that I've been really into is from the brand Stella. Like this is what the packaging looks like. I got a sample of this in my Sephora, like you know when you get like your free samples, and I tested it out and I was like super drawn to it. This is more of like an older, like, an older mature kind of perfume smell, but it's definitely up my alley. I really like this perfume. I can't really define the smell to you, but it smells not so fruity, but not so old lady-like, you know? So yeah, once you go to Sephora, definitely spray this and see what you guys think for yourself, but I really, really, really like this perfume. So yeah, I've been really loving this one. Okay, now on to the fun part, which is makeup. Um, my favorite lipstick this month would have to go down to my Milani. Try to see if I can get the... Yeah, the lighting is pretty sucky. But yeah, this is my Milani lipstick. It's in the shade Nude Cream, number 26. It's like this pretty mauve pink, and it is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And I really like it. And the smell of these lipsticks are again really fruity. You can just see that I'm going on this like fruity roll right now. But I've been really liking it. Like it's not drying. The formula is really nice and it's really pigmented. Like I only need like a few swipes. And it lasts for quite a little bit but I do know I have to reapply it every now and then. Because you know when you're drinking water, eating food, all that good stuff. You will definitely need to reapply that. But that has been my go-to lipstick. It's like a kind of like my lips but better kind of shade. So I've been really liking that. So for blush, I've also been loving my Milani um, Baked Blush. This is what it looks like right here. It's in the shade Delicizio Pink. 
And it's just like the prettiest like baby pink color ever. Do a little swatch for you. So that's what that looks like. My favorite foundation would have to go back to my Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, 24 hour foundation. This one is in the shade Light Neutral. It's what I'm wearing today on my face. It's just the perfect shade and I love it. And it's matte. Love matte. And um, I don't know. I just really like this foundation. You only need so little of it because it does cover up very well. Um, it definitely is full coverage, but you can definitely build it up. So you can start off from like medium coverage and then work your way up. But I've been really gravitating toward this foundation a lot lately. Also due to the weather since it is pretty cold now. Um, and this is my lightest shade that I kind of currently have. Favorite highlighter of this month would have to go down to my Becca uh, Moonstone shade. That's what it looks like. Do a little swatch for you. So there's that. So yeah, it's like a really, really pretty champagne color. And I've also been loving the Very Real Mascara from Benefit. I don't know. This mascara just really does make my lashes look really good and natural and long. And I also really like the brush. So this is what the brush looks like. And I just really like it, like, there's just a few downsides to it, like, I don't know, it's a little, it can get a little clumpy on me sometimes, but I don't really mind that. I'm almost done with this mascara, and if I have the chance, I definitely will be repurchasing it. I am just testing out a bunch of new mascaras right now, but this has been my go-to one. So as for my favorite eye pencil this month, it is a nude shade. It's from the brand Rimmel. It is their Scandal Eyes waterproof one, and this is in the shade Nude on it. But it's like the perfect nude for the waterline to help make your eyes more awake and bright because lately I've been really lazy doing my makeup, so I'm kind of doing the whole natural look. And this just really helps make me look more awake and alive. And I'm really liking this, and it's super cheap. This is like 2 to $3 at any drugstore. Favorite concealer also is going down to the Rimmel Match Perfection 125 Fair. This is what it looks like. I use this as my concealer as well as my highlight and it works amazing. Um, the only thing I don't like is this wand, like their little like applicator. So you have to squeeze out so much product that it takes forever just to get up to the wand. But I really like the color pigmentation. So I'm kind of like 50-50 on it, but this has been my favorite this month. And I've noticed that a lot of my stuff is drugstore, so drugstore is definitely upping up their game. Alright, so my favorite palettes this month is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So this is what it looks like. Super duper pretty shades. I love these shades. Super pigmented. They all smell like cocoa. And I don't know, the color range is just perfect. Like for all those neutral lovers, this is your go-to palette, and it does have a few pops of color, like this purple right here, and this dark one right here is super pretty. But you can do so many looks with this, and I just got this like two weeks ago, and I'm super, super loving it. And I'm loving it more than my Lorac Pro, uh, Pro, the number one, and I don't know. It just blends super easily. Favorite thing ever. This took me forever to find at like Sephora and Ulta because it was always sold out, but I finally got my hands on it. Next thing up is my Anastasia Contour Kit. Freaking love this stuff. This is what it looks like. I've used a lot of this banana shade always to set like my under eyes to help brighten it up. And I've been using this to contour. And I've been using this to bronze up my face a little bit. I'm not I'm only wearing a little bit of the contour today. And I am wearing a little bit of the banana, but it's kind of fading away now. But I really like this palette. It's just like a perfect go-to. It also has highlights in it. And I've also been using this for my eyeshadow. Is that weird? I don't know. I've just been loving the way it looks on my eyes. It's super natural. And I don't know. It's just multiple uses you can get out of this. So I've been really loving this palette. Alright, so last thing I've been loving is my Blender Cleanser Solid um, from Beauty Blender. And I use this to clean my beauty blender. It's just like this white bar soap kind of thing. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. I've been using this to clean my beauty blender along with my makeup brushes. And holy crap, this stuff is like magic. It legit like cleans your brushes 
to the fullest and it doesn't take that much time at all. It's just super awesome and it smells really nice too. I don't know. It smell it reminds me of like lush bath bomb smells. I don't know if you guys know what that smells like, but that's what it smells like to me. It's super like refreshing and I really like it. Alright guys, that concludes my February favorites this month. I'm super excited to uh, continue this monthly. If you guys really like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below, let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm kind of just going with the flow right now. And yeah, I've been really enjoying doing these types of videos. And sorry, I sound a little sick, as you can see. Alright guys, hope you guys all have a great day. And enjoy your March. I'll see you guys later.